back to your Thursday maths lesson. So following on from the Monday's lesson, I promised you that I would give you some of the answers to the questions that I set you. So I've done the whole of question A, so I've done the whole of the A box, and I've put the answers on the board. Have a look back at the work that you did on Monday, and just go through your work from then. Give yourselves either a tick or a dot for the questions. If you need to go back and just correct your mistakes, that is absolutely fine to see where you have gone wrong. So here are the answers. Big well done if you got the majority of those right. There were some in there, especially down the bottom of the A box, that were a lot more tricky. They were fractions on a number line and we didn't actually cover that in the lesson. So if you managed to get a couple of those right, then big, big well done. So in today's lesson, I'm just gonna start off by looking at non-unit fractions in a shape because in the last lesson, in the work that I set, they did crop up although I'm sure you guys at home were absolutely fine with those. Just cover that and then I'm going to move on to finding fractions of an amount. Okay, so like I said, we are going to start off by finding a non-unit fraction in a shape. So I'm going to start off by drawing a circle and I'm going to split it into thirds. So if I'm splitting into thirds, how many equal parts do I need? Good, I'm going to need three equal parts. Okay, there we go, there's roughly, and um, I know it's not exactly equal, but I think you get the gist. It's quite hard to draw three equal parts in a circle, but I've had a go. So I've split my circle into thirds. Now I want to shade in, in my red pen, I want to shade in two thirds. Two thirds, let me write that fraction out for you. Two thirds. What would that look like? So I've got three equal parts, because I've divided my circle into three equal parts, because that's my denominator. And now I need two parts, because that's what my numerator is. I need to shade in two parts. So one, two. There we go, so that's what two thirds looks like in that circle. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more. So for this one, I'm gonna draw a circle and I'm gonna shade in part of that circle. So I'm gonna shade in a certain amount of parts of that circle. I want you to have a go at writing down the fraction. Okay, so there you go, I've drawn the circle. I've split it up into however many pieces, that's for you to find out. And I've shaded in two of those pieces. What fraction represents the parts that are shaded in? Have a go at doing it. Okay, so going on what we learned last lesson, let's find out what our denominator is. So what should the number be on the bottom? How many parts have I split my circle up into? Good, it's six. So six is my denominator. Now how many parts do I have shaded in? And that will give us our numerator. Good, I've got two parts of six pieces shaded in. So I've had my circle, I split it up equally or I divided it equally into six pieces. And then I've got two parts of six pieces shaded in. So the answer is two sixths. Well done. Okay, so we're now gonna start looking at fractions of an amount. Now this is something that uh, when we were in school, when I, so when I was teaching in school, this is something that we were looking at and the children, so if you're in my class or if you're in my maths class, this is something that you guys should know, but we're just gonna recap it and we're just gonna go over it. So we're now gonna move on to finding fractions of an amount or fractions of a number. So there is one rule that I would like you to remember to lock into your heads for this part of the lesson. And this is something for you to use again and again and again when you are doing this or when you are working out a sum like this. So for this, it probably won't make much sense right now, but it will make a lot of sense a little bit later on. But for this, you need to divide the whole number by the denominator. So divide by the bottom of the fraction 
and then you times it by the top. So divide by the bottom times by the top. I will try my very hardest if my IT skills can do that, but I'll try and insert a little diagram of what we're going to do up here so that if you do get lost at any point, you can just use it and I'll leave it there for the remainder of the video. So let's start off with a really, really simple one. I would like you to find a third of 12. So one third of 12. Okay, one third of 12. Now using the rule that I just told you about, what I mean by that is 12 is our whole number, okay? That is the number that we are finding a third of. We need to divide 12 by the denominator, so by the number on the bottom. So 12 divided by three, so divide, oh. in fact, I'm just gonna put a little divide there so we know that what that arrow is, okay? So 12 divided by three, what's 12 divided by three? Four, good, 12 divided by three is four, so that takes us to four. Then we need to times four, four times, And I'm going to put another little arrow there. Hopefully that helps. And I'm going to times four by one because we're times by the top. So we've divided by the bottom, which has given us four. And then four times by the numerator. So four times one is four. And then I'm going to draw a big bubble around it because that there is our answer. So divide by the bottom times by the top and it has given us the answer of four. Okay, for this one, I would like us to find a quarter of, let's go, a quarter of 20. A quarter of 20, so one quarter of, a quarter of 20. Remember, we need to divide by the bottom times by the top. So I'm just gonna put those arrows on again. So we're going this way first, and we are dividing, and then we're timesing by the top. Okay, so let's start off over here. So 20, 20 divided by four. 20 divided by four. What is 20 divided by four? How many fours go into 20? Five, well done. Five, okay, so now we need to times five by the numerator. What's the numerator? So five times one. Five times one, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Five, well done, so our answer do, 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 is five. Well done if you got that right. Shall I give you one to do on your own? Have a go at doing it, because I am gonna go through it after. So don't panic if it's a little bit tricky for you just now, because I am gonna go through it. Have a go at doing it. Remember the rule, divide by the bottom times by the top, and you should be absolutely fine. There you go, so there's the one I would like you to try on your own. Pause the video here and have a go at doing it. Just going to add on my arrows. So 16, 16 divided by four. I'm gonna write that out down here. 16 divided by four. How many fours go into 16? Four, well done, four. Okay, so I've divided by the bottom. Now what was the next part of that rule? Look up there, good times by the top, so four times one. Four times one is four, so your magic answer doo -doo -doo, is four. Well done if you got that one right. So now I'm gonna put a few of them on the board. I'm gonna split the board up into um, section A and section B. Section B will be the challenge. So 
gonna start off by going A, question one. One third of nine. So nine's our whole number. Nine divided by three, because we divide by the bottom first. Nine divided by three is three, good. And then we need to do three times one. Three times one is three. Well done, I'll just put the answer over here. Give yourself a tick or a dot if you got that right. Okay, number two, A, number two. One fifth of 15. So 15 is the whole number, so we need to divide by the bottom. So 15 divided by five is three, good. Times one, three times one is three. Again, three and three, well done. A quarter of eight, a quarter of eight. So eight is the whole number. We need to divide by the bottom. So eight divided by four is two. And then two times the numerator, so two times one is two. So three, three and two. Massive well done if you got those right, well done. If you want to just go back and try the challenge questions, do so now. If you've already done the challenge questions, I'm about to go through the answers now with you. So B1, we've got two thirds of 12. So 12 is the whole number. We need to divide 12 by the bottom. So 12 divided by three is four. Good. So just put a little four there. Now we've got two as our top number because we divide by the bottom, which has given us four. Now we need to do four times two. Four times two is eight. Okay, moving on to that question number two. So 25 is our whole number. So 25 divided by five. 25 divided by five is five, well done. Five times three is 15, well done. Question number three. So 24 is our whole number. 24 divided by six is five. Four, well done. Four times four, because we're times in that answer there, by four times by the top. Four times four is 16. Well done if you got those right and you challenged yourself. So I'm now going to put some questions up here for you to answer at home, just like the ones on Monday. Start off with box A then move across to box B and box C. They do get harder as they go along, but have a go at answering as many as you can. And just like in Monday's video, I will give you some of the answers in next Monday's maths lesson. So make sure that you join me then to go through your work. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you then.